welcome, friends. We are so excited to have you joining us today. Eon and I welcome you. We are particularly excited because today we're going to cover how to get started with your very first Timescale Cloud instance. Woohoo! Super exciting stuff. And we actually have so much to cover and so many awesome things to show you. We're just gonna jump right on over to the desktop and get this party rocking and rolling. So let's go. So we're going to start off at the Timescale homepage. So here you can access all of Timescale's awesome offerings and content, including our docs and the blog, and of course, Timescale Cloud. And honestly, the fastest way to get started with Timescale Cloud is by signing up for our free 30 day trial and it's no credit card required, like completely free, which is very cool. And all I need to do is just click on this button here. So then the first prompt that pops up, it asks us for our name and our email address. So pick, you know, whatever name and email you want. And of course you want to have access to the email that you use. So, you know, keep that in mind. <laughs> and then we can continue on once we have that. So this next prompt gives us choices for which data provider we would prefer along with a preferred data storage location. For this walkthrough, I am just going to take the default options, but definitely feel free to make any adjustments uh, depending on the situation that you are in and what you would prefer. Yeah. So we are happy with that. I'm going to take the defaults. Next, we get to confirm our details. Woohoo! So our email is conveniently already in there, so that's really nice. Now I just need to figure out a password. And definitely, you know, just gonna use password one, two, three, right? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm gonna use a real password because the cyber security world. Huh? So then we need to confirm that we are in fact human. I can't make any promises. <laughs> I'm kidding. Or am I? No. I'm just so click this. Oh, okay. Interesting. Um, I've never not been able to complete a block thing. I don't see any taxis here. Um, interesting. I'm just going to skip this. I've never done that before. Ah, okay. Fire hydrants. Huzzah. I can, I can do that. I can do that. So <laughs> dodge the bullet there folks. Ha ha. So now I can sign up. Cool beans. Oh, and look, it's Eon in a cute little car. That's amazing. Thank you, dear Eon. So then this now is where I need to have access to that email that we used. So I'm gonna hop on over to my email and we can see that we got a verification email from Timescale, brilliant. So I'm gonna open up this email and bam, we are hooking with fire here, woohoo. And look at that, we even get our own little party. That's so fun. We love having fun here at Timescale. <laughs> so let's click on forward to all of our database streams. Okay, so here at Timescale, we love to make things as simple as possible. So right after verification, we can see that the create a database option is already visible and prepped for us to create our first database instance, which is very cool, I think, again. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, Timescale provides a lot of super cool options upon database creation, and all of these exist within the advanced options link here. So if you want to create a database with custom computing power and disk size and storage op options and all that cool stuff, you can absolutely do that. However, for many and for this tutorial, we really just need the the defaults and so they work great for our scenario plus auto scaling is enabled by default so that means that our data storage will scale on its own if needed as we ingest data so that's pretty cool all right let's go ahead and create the database <gasps> Boom, sweet. Our database is now being deployed within the cloud uh, and we should have access very, very soon. Now on this page, you're gonna notice a lot of great info being provided and you know connection details, all this cool stuff. But the most important information that you want to take note of is your service information. 
So your database name, but more importantly, your password. Now, if you lose this password or if you don't save it off right now or if something happens, you can create a new password for your database. However, this if you leave without saving off your, your database from this service information, you will have to reset your password. So we make the resetting process very easy, but it makes your life just way easier if you save off your database password now. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and snag it, and I recommend that you snag it as well. Save it somewhere safe and sound. And then once our database is created, then we can actually click down here and see kind of the, the expanded database view that you get with Timescale Cloud. So when you look into your a specific database, you'll see all of these tabs of information. And of course we start off with the overview tab and it has awesome information on how to connect to your database uh, and some all the connection information that you need to do so, super cool stuff. And then if you continue on, the next tab, the Explorer tab has all the info on your tables and your aggregates if and when you know you have them of course right now our database is empty so we don't have any tables or aggregates but you will see them in this tab later on whenever you add them of course then next we have the operations tasks and information tab so this is great for if you need to reset your password or forking the database, you can come to this tab and get, um, have access to all those cool options. So then we have the metrics tab, very cool. It's just, you know, information on CPU memory and storage metrics. Pretty sweet. Then of course we have the log tab and here, is just information on the logs within your database. So you can go there and check things out if you need to. And then of course, last but not least, the settings. And that's for altering, altering database parameters. So very useful, lots of cool stuff. And that's all of course ex accessible from your services kind of option on the left here. So now that we've actually created this awesome new Timescale Cloud database, what do we do next? Well, we connect to it. And we're not only going to show one way of connecting to your database, but two different ways of connecting to your database. Wow. We are going to have a video on how to connect via the terminal and also via third party tools. Fun stuff coming your way. And if you want to make sure not to miss any of this awesome content coming out of Timescale DB, make sure to smash that subscribe button. And if this video was helpful or enjoyable or, you know, whatever, we always appreciate also any likes or comments below. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and happy coding.